second bracelet, you'll need 17 round agate stone beads. Ours are aqua and they're 10 millimeters. If you want the bracelet a little bigger, you can add a couple more beads. And we have five gold crystal spacer beads. These are two millimeters by six millimeters. We're gonna put this bracelet together on Stretch Magic, which is an elastic beading cord, and our size is 0.5 millimeter. And we're gonna use a big eye beading needle to do that, and that's what these are right here. We're gonna secure our knot with GS Hypo, which is a jewelry glue. And additionally, we'll use a bead bug, or you could use a piece of masking tape, and we have scissors. To make the bracelet, the first thing we want to do is cut a piece of the Stretch Magic beading cord. This is the elastic cord, and I cut a piece 20 inches long for this bracelet. And we need it that long because we're going to run it through the beads two times. So to bead this cord, we want to put a stopper at one end. This is a bead bug, or you could put a piece of masking tape on the end. And that's just going to keep the beads from sliding off that end when I put the beads on the other end. We love these bead bugs, they're fun. And then with the other end, you could go ahead and bead without using a beading needle the first time through, but we're going to use a beading needle so I can show you how it's done because we need to use it the second time. This is the beading needle. This is called a big eye beading needle because it's actually one whole eye and you just sort of pull it apart with your fingernails and then slide the stretch elastic into the opening. And now I'm ready to uh, use this to bead my bracelet. So to get started beading, I'm gonna feed on six of my stone, agate stone beads onto the beading needle and just let them slide down towards the bead bug and this aqua agate stone bead. It's very beautiful. It has all kinds of inclusions and striations. It's a real stone. It is dyed to be this beautiful color. And some people think that uh, agate has healing properties and it helps you with focus and you can wear it for that purpose. We just think it's beautiful. Such a pretty color. So here I've got six of my beads on. And now I want to put on the spacer beads. And so the pattern for this bracelet will be a lot of the agate beads, these six, and then a spacer bead and an agate for a section of five. So here's a spacer bead and an agate and a spacer bead and an agate. And these spacer beads are really pretty rhinestone beads and you can just look for them they're called spacer beads or rondelles sometimes but we call them spacer beads and they fit right down in between the beads because they're kind of curved they're a little bit concave on both sides and so they nestle right up to the bead it's really fun and they add a little glitz and bling that we like for this bracelet this is a very wearable bracelet so that's our last spacer bead. So you can see we've got five spacers with four agates, one in between each. And then we're going to switch back and feed on the rest of our agate beads. And there should be about seven of those left. This beading needle makes it very fast to put your beads on. So we do like using it but the stretch elastic has a little bit of body and it actually will go through the beads without a needle for a first pass. But we're gonna do a second pass, so the needle's important for that. I have all my beads on the stretch magic, like that, and I'm going to pull the stretch magic a little bit to stretch it out a little bit. This is recommended with this cord to just do a little bit of pre-stretch. So there's our pre-stretching. And then I'm going to feed this needle end back through the bracelet. So there's the bracelet, and I'm going to pick up the other end. It's coming out of this end on the right, and I'm taking the needle, I'm going back through this end on the left. 
and I'm just going to go right back through all those beads. And this is even faster than the first time because they're already lined up on the cord for you. I'm just going to slide that through like that. Just pull the beads through onto the stretch magic. So we're going to wind up with two cords going through all the beads. And that'll make it a little stronger. I'm going to slide it through this next section. And so I'm just pulling it tight as I go, and that's helping to stretch it out a little bit. And let me finish going all the way around until we get back to the bead bug. So I can do that section and then feed it through this section. And that's why we're using 0.5 millimeter elastic stretch magic. Uh, this bead could actually take a bigger size, and if you only wanted to go through it once, I would recommend using the bigger size of Stretch Magic because it'll be a little bit stronger for your bigger beads. So I'll pull that one through, and then I've got one more bead to go. And I know I'm back at the beginning because that's where my bead bug is waiting for me patiently here at the end. So now I can take the bead bug off this end, and now I'm ready to tie the knot. This is an important part of the bracelet. We're gonna tie two knots. I'm gonna remove my needle first for this because it'd be hard to pull it through. But we'll use that needle again in a minute. So the first knot is going to be overhand, like a regular overhand knot. I have made a little crisscross with the cord and then I'm going to take the one side and tuck it through and pull it around and then I'm going to do that one more time. This is, I think this is called a surgical knot, but you just do that extra pull through. It gives it a little extra security. I'm going to pull that knot tight and then I'm going to do one more overhand knot and this one will just be the regular kind. This is like when you're starting to tie your shoes, that knot that you use. Pull that. And that's looking very good. And now I want to take these ends and feed them back through some of the beads. And that will tuck the ends in. So that's why we said we would need this big eye needle again. I'm going to find the opening of the big eye needle. Feed in that end. Don't you wish all needles were as easy to thread as that? And I'm going to take this end, I'm going to find the little hole in the bead, I'm going to go through two beads and pull that piece through. And then I'm going to use the big eye needle on the other side, open that up, take the other end and feed it in, and then feed that through two of the beads. This end's a little bit shorter, so I have to kind of stretch it actually to reach the bead. There it is. Just feeding it through one and two beads like that. Isn't that clever? So now the ends are going to be tucked in. But before we trim those ends, we're going to add a little glue to our knot here. And you can use any jewelry glue you want. This is GS Hypo. And it has a very fine applicator. You could use that. Or I'm just going to use a toothpick to show you if you have a different kind of glue. This is how you would apply it if you don't have the fine applicator that the GS Hypo comes with. Just take a toothpick and pick up a little bit of your glue. And I'm going to pull the beads apart so I can see into my knot. And I'm just going to dab that glue around the knot. Put on both sides, like that. And I'm putting it between the two cords. There's an extra cord there, so I'm kind of gluing that extra cord to the knot. And then I'm going to pull the knot into one of the beads using this end. So I'm pulling this string, the knot's in between. If I pull it a little bit this way, it's going to tuck that knot inside that bead. It moves it into the middle of the bead. So now our knot is hidden. It'll be glued inside one of those beads. And now we can just trim this elastic end and it'll hide itself inside that bead. 
and trim this other side. And you really want to let this dry for about 24 hours, but I just want to show you when you wear this, just roll it on. You don't want to pull it and stretch it. You'll just roll it like this to put it on. And it's so easy to wear and so easy to make. We hope that you have fun making your own. Thank you.